Okay, guys, we got this 06 Lexus, uh, was it, IS350? And they told me that it had uh, throttle position sensor codes. I go and scan it. I don't see any throttle position codes. I see auction sensor codes. I'm going to quick call them, see what it is, because I didn't do any testing. I didn't start it. But uh, when I came in here, I just quick looked to see if everything shared a common power. And they do share a common power. Like, here's our two auction sensors down here. And if we come up and go over, they come up to this junction box and use this EFI 2 fuse, but this also feeds some other stuff. Like, we got this stoplight switch, canister, closed valve. But I also noticed, like, you come over here to this other page. I think there's like instrument cluster or something. Yeah, instrument cluster for the check engine light and the dome light somehow. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, because I selected all these. So I don't know. Maybe my spice pack's bad. I don't even know if this is our issue. I'm going to quick call them, double check because we got 15 faults. Okay, guys. So they said that uh, these codes. Uh, I said they were told it was the throttle body code, so I'm going to set my laptop down on the floor right here. And then uh, I guess we'll clear these codes. I'll turn the key on, we'll clear these codes, we'll start it up, we'll see what codes we get back. Um, let's see. That's another thing, too. This instrument cluster doesn't like really power up. Oh, there it goes. Let's see. Earlier when I tried to... Uh, Turn it on at, uh... Oh, we got three faults instantly. Hmm. Okay, well, this is doing this. I'm gonna go grab it. I'm gonna go grab a test light. I have a feeling those might be the same codes that we had before. Guys, we got this mass airflow sensor alert circuit low. So I'm gonna quick check this. Came right back. You can see a current pending in history. So I'm going to uh, look on the wiring diagram to find this mass airflow sensor real quick. Real quick, guys. Uh, this black wire right here for the mass airflow sensor, right here. This is our battery positive. See, battery positive. We're connected to the battery. Got our fills probe. It's my long one. I don't know what I do with my short ones. We have no power. Okay. Watch this. So if we test. Oops touch this on the battery you got a test light so then I came over here to the other side and uh, we got our junction connection right here left front of engine bay so it's in this cover right here and we got these blacks right here well black and white black and white violet black 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 and white violet all these so if we look so we have our violets right here okay here's our violets you'll see we got our black and whites and our black and whites have power but our blacks have no power right now and they should have power to key on. So we have no power going to this, okay? So if we follow this black and white, or the black wires over, because that goes to our VSV and our mass airflow sensor. So we follow this pin 15 over. Uh, let's see. Oops, I'm clicking on stuff. Let's go over, let's go over. Let's go over again, over again, uh, here we go, so we come up here, comes to this junction connector right here, so I need to find this junction connector and see if we have power there, so I think we might have an issue there, see it goes black to black and red. Okay guys, so I followed it over, because this EFI 2 fuse, and I thought it would be odd that that might be blown, but I decided to check it, look, EFI number 2. So we have power on this side, but no power on this other side. I'm gonna pull this fuse out, we'll put a new fuse in and see if it works. Okay guys, so what I did was I got my amp clamp set up here with the Zeus. Let me turn this ignition back on. Let's turn this ignition back on. There we go, everything's powering up. Let's see, we got some current flowing on there. Our test light is now lit on our black and white wires there. Let's go to this other side. Let's put our test light in here. Look at that. Test light is on. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to clear our codes real quick. Our codes should clear. And now I'm going to start this up. I have my circuit breaker in there. Let's see. Okay, look at that. Oh, it's doing the air conditioning now. Um, let's start this up, see how it runs, because I said before it ran like crap. And then we'll be able to measure our current. There we go. So that's started. Our idle surgeon. The test light's still on, so that's good. I have a feeling that this is probably it. I'm going to put this cover back on here because we don't need to get in there anymore. I'm just going to let this run for a little bit. I probably had to relearn the idle too. So I'll just let this warm up. Um, I don't understand why we want that current here. I think that we would have some current flow. I guess we don't have much current flow on it. It looks like my uh, amp clamp's pulling most of it. Three quarters of an amp. I mean, my light. Let's unplug this. Yeah, look at that. So there's not a lot of current flowing on there. So. I guess I'll disconnect this because we'll be able to see if that wall blows right there because that'll light up. I'm going to let this run and warm up. And I think that we should have no codes right now. No codes. Right, so the car's been running for a few minutes. It's, it uh, warmed up. You can see we're at 3.35 uh, grams a second. We got almost about 1.2 to 1.6 amps on there. Let's see how the car rubs. I think we're pretty much done here. Look at that. Let's shut it off. Start it back up. Boom. Let's go back. Let's go to trouble codes. Look at that, no trouble codes. That's all it was, blowing fuse. So there we go. Let's check our current. Oh, look at our current. There we go. Hope you guys like it. See you later. I'm going to put another fuse in here, by the way. See you guys later.